used in engineering practice. Conic section. Learning objectives. At the end of this topic, you will be able to define conic section, understand the focus and directrix of the conic section, Demonstrate the method for construction of parabola. Construct tangent and normal to the parabola. As we are clear with objectives, let us know what are conic sections. Conic sections. Conic sections are the sections of a right circular cone obtained by cutting the cone in different ways. Depending upon the position of cutting plane relative to the axis of cone, three sections are obtained. They are as follows. Ellipse, parabola, hyperbola. Parabola. A parabola is obtained when a section plane parallel to the one generators cuts the cone. Conic. A conic is defined as a locus of point moving in a plane such that the ratio of its distance from a fixed point to a fixed straight line is always constant. The fixed point is called focus and the fixed straight line is called the directrix. The ratio, distance of the point from the focus, is divided by distance of the point from the directrix, is called eccentricity, E. That is, PF divided by PM is equal to eccentricity. E is equal to 1 for parabola. E is less than 1 for ellipse. E is more than 1 for hyperbola. As we are familiar with the conditions for conics, now let us see how to construct a parabola and also normal and tangent to the curve. Problem. Construct a parabola with the distance of the focus from the directrix is 50 mm. Also, draw normal and tangent to the curve at a point 40 mm from the directrix. Or, a fixed point is 50 mm from a fixed straight line. Draw the locus of a point P moving such a way that its distance from the fixed straight line is equal to its distance from the fixed point. Name the curve. Also, draw normal and tangent to the curve at a point 40 mm from the fixed straight line. The constructional procedure for the above problem is as follows. Draw the horizontal straight line. A, B represents the axis of parabola. Draw the vertical straight line. C, D through A represents directrix of parabola. Mark the focus F on AB such that AF is equal to 50 millimeters. Locate the vertex V on AB such that AV is equal to VF is equal to 25 millimeter. Draw a line VE perpendicular to AB such that VE is equal to VF is equal to 25 millimeters. Join A and E and extend. Locate a number of points 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 to the right of V on the axis which need not be equidistant. Through the points 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5, draw lines perpendicular to the axis and to meet the line AE extended at 1, dash, 2, dash, 3, dash, 4, dash and 5, dash.
with radius 1, 1 dash and center F, draw arcs above and below the axis such that it intersects the line through 1 at P1 and P1 dash. With radius 2, 2 dash and center F, draw arcs above and below the axis such that it intersects the line through 2 at P2 and P2 dash. With radius 3, 3 dash and center F, draw arcs above and below the axis such that it intersects the line through 3 at P3 and P3 dash. With radius 4, 4 dash and center F, draw arcs above and below the axis such that it intersects the line through 4 at P4 and P4 dash. With radius 5, 5 dash and center F, draw arcs above and below the axis such that it intersects the line through 5 at P5 and P5 dash. Join the points from P5 to P5 dash by a smooth curve forming the required parabola. To draw tangent and normal to the parabola, locate the point M which is at 40 mm from the directrix. Join M to F and draw a line through F perpendicular to MF meeting the directrix at T. The line joining T and M and extended is the tangent to the parabola. Draw a line N dash N perpendicular to the tangent is the normal N N to the parabola. Summary. At the end of this topic, you have learned conic section definition, concept of eccentricity, constructional method for drawing the parabola, drawing tangent and normal to parabola.